my previous video, Stolen Blood, I've been focusing on the cord blood, which is being taken slash stolen from babies. And this is done in order to uh, extract stem cells. Now in this clip, I want to show you that there, there are two more sources of stem cells, which are very, very disturbing. And this is the purpose of the video. So we're gonna listen to a researcher named Lauren Goldstein. So he has just explained why the stem cells are so precious and how they are useful. Now he's going to go into so that's why what are useful. the major sources so of stem cells. So the question then is, where do you get them? You don't just go to Ralph's grocery store or the liquor store to buy them. Uh, they have to come from somewhere because they're a biological material. We don't dig them out of the ground. And there are really three major sources of human stem cells or stem cells from animals of a variety of types as of 2012. Now, I'll just tell you that the label adult stem cell is very misleading, not in a malicious sense. It, it's, it's a very incomplete definition, as you'll see. And, it, and that's a general lesson about tissue stem cells which are those we find in different adult tissues, and by the way, in different fetal tissues, which is why it's not accurate to call them all adult. It's a, it's a common mislabeling of these cells. And there is a good reason for the mislabeling. It's because they don't want to, customers to be aware of that this now, stem cells come from Now, I'll just mention babies. that among adult and tissue stem cells, there are two other kinds of stem cells that you may have heard of, cord blood and amniotic fluid. Cord blood is a type of tissue that has two or perhaps... So you see, it's obvious he feels uncomfortable and he just can't spill the beans. He could hold this presentation in three minutes if he would just be honest and say, these tissues, the stem cells, they come from baby blood and they come from aborted fetuses. But he can't do it. That's why he's babbling around for 30, 40 minutes without cutting to the chase. Now, there seems to be a logic that the earlier you can get to these stem cells, the more life force they have, the more potent they are, the more possibilities it is to do different things with them. So if you go from the cord blood and you take it one step earlier, then these stem cells are in the fetus. And if you take it one step earlier than that, then these stem cells are in the egg that's, that has been fertilized. So this is the part of the purpose of the clip to show you that even aborted fetuses is a source for these stem cells. And now you would say like, come on, is this really possible? Is there really a trade? Are they really... Is it like a market out there for aborted fetuses? And if, if you search for it, you will see that in the United States there was this big scandal where Planned Parenthood, who have abortion cl clinics all over the United States, they were caught in the act selling aborted fetuses. 30 to $100 price, or that's per specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. The heavily edited videos were secretly recorded and released by members of an anti-abortion group called the Center for Medical Progress. Are you looking at eight and nine week specimens or only second trimester specimens? Group members posing as potential buyers of fetal tissue for medical research allege that employees of Planned Parenthood, a government-funded women's health care organization that also performs abortions, discuss the selling of baby parts with them. It's an accusation the organization strongly denies, saying it only charges fees to cover costs. I want to be really clear. The allegation that Planned Parenthood profits in any way from tissue donation is not true. This is an issue about our humanity. Planned Parenthood is harvesting the body parts of unborn babies. 
fetal cells that have been derived either um, from a preterm baby or, for example, umbilical cord blood cells uh, after, after a woman has given birth can be used, um, as well as in the cases of miscarriage. But uh, in cases where a child had to die in the process or be killed for those um, tissue pieces to be used, that's not ethical. Now there's a third source of stem cells which has huge implications. Embryonic stem cells. These are the more ethically challenged in the toolbox of stem cells. These are stem cells that are extracted from frozen embryos that are left over after in vitro fertilization treatment for couples who can't have kids the old-fashioned way and who need technology to help them. IVF, in vitro fertilization clinics, are private businesses. They sometimes go out of business. The bank sometimes ends up owning the freezers. Uh, they go, uh, sometimes they just lose, the freezers die, break, uh, what have you. And then sometimes couples uh, actually wander off without paying their freezer bills anymore. And the clinics are, it's amazing, isn't it? And the clinics are left with the, uh, the embryos, and they're unsure what to do with them. Now, it turns out that in many cases, probably more frequently than you imagine, couples who are done having kids, whether it's one, two, three, or four, will often have frozen embryos left over. And they are allowed by law, if they so choose, to donate those embryos to research instead of discarding them as biological waste. And they are allowed by law, if they so choose, to donate those embryos to research instead of discarding them as biological waste. And there are uh, scientists such as myself who believe that's an ethical and appropriate thing to do scientifically. And when those embryos are donated to research, they will be destroyed. But as part of that destruction, stem cells can be grown from those embryonic cells. And if you do this properly, under the right conditions, those embryonic cells will grow more or less indefinitely, as near as we can tell. They can be frozen and thawed over time courses of many years. And importantly, they have the ability to make every adult cell type, as near as we can tell. We hear a lot about that these stem cells are used for healing people, healing sick people. But what we're not being told that there is a huge demand that is created for these stem cells for other reasons as well. We have an enormous amount of athletes who are taking these stem cells treatments. We have older people who want to rejuvenate themselves and taking so-called beauty treatments and injecting cord blood into their skin in order to look younger. So we have a huge demand and a huge industry, multi-billionaire industry that has been created. And it's, it's based on human suffering. It's based on theft from basically babies and families. So I urge you, please share this information and do whatever you can so this, this can be stopped.